So today I'm doing a little bit more of a casual vlogging styled video for you because I wanted to show you my vanity area which I'm sitting next to and I also wanted to show you guys my makeup organization. I do have a ton of makeup of course you guys can expect that from a beauty youtuber. So if I didn't do YouTube I probably would not have as much makeup as I do but just to forewarn you guys there is a ton of stuff so I'm gonna try and go through these as quickly as possible. Not everything is organized as I would like it but it's just what fits the best as of right now and I honestly will probably be moving and rearranging everything again because I always have to keep making room for new things and getting rid of things I'm not using but I'll show you guys what I have on my vanity and my makeup organizers currently and this is not all of my makeup I do have more if you can believe it but a lot of it is stored in like my closet area I have another organizer but it's a huge mess so I'll show you guys what I have out here in my vanity which is also what I use the most often and I'll also be listing the information for where I got everything in the description box down below so if you guys want to know where I got something just check the description box down below so here is an overview of my vanity area it's just in one corner of my bedroom and on this side there is a crate for my dog Yoshi so I'll try to keep that out of this but it's just really large but I have two sets of Alex drawers and that is my desk it is from Z Gallery which I will link down below and the mirror is actually separate. I found the mirror from Home Goods and it just went with the desk perfectly. The big chair is also from Home Goods. There is a little throw and pillow on it which I will show you guys later and the Alex drawers of course are from IKEA and the clear makeup organizers are from Boxy Girl. This chair is super soft and comfortable which is why I got it because I spend so much time in this area I wanted to be comfortable. I also sit on it to film and this is again from Home Goods. This little throw pillow is also from Home Goods. It's just a really pretty beaded pillow which I thought went really well. And then this faux fur throw rug thing is from Target. I just like the way this looked and I think it goes really well with everything else. It kind of makes it look really soft and romantic and girly because everything is very clean and mirrored and most of it is white and silver the chair kind of goes with everything else so I'm gonna start on the left side of my desk on this set of Alex drawers and on top of it I just have my accessories this is a cute little deer I think I got this one from forever 21 but I have like a ton of accessories on it it's all clumped together and then this little pineapple is actually from H&M it's a part of their home line which I really like and they don't have one near me I think I got this in Boston but it's a cute little can handle and this is a fake succulent. I do have real ones, but I've killed them all. So this one is from Target, but I just like to mix a little bit of greenery into my decor just to keep it looking really fresh. And then this is also from Target. It's a jewelry box, which I have filled with random jewelry. And then this is my newest perfume from Chloe. It's Love Story. And then behind it, I have the classic Chloe, which I love. I'm about to run out of mine, so I got a new one one for Christmas from Peter. These are both from Peter. And then this is a jewelry rack. I forget where it's from, but it's kind of like an acrylic tree jewelry stand. And I have a mess of accessories on this. It's super heavy. And then I have a lamp that I got from Target as well, and I really liked the look of it on the base. So now let's look inside these drawers. And not everything is perfectly organized inside of these. I just have a lot of stuff. So it's kind of organized by drawer but it could definitely be a lot neater and I just have a lot of stuff so the first drawer here is all skincare it's mostly Mirad stuff and I have a lot of skincare if you guys have not seen my skincare video I will link it down below but I kind of have a slight obsession with skincare especially Mirad so there's a lot of Mirad stuff and yeah more Mirad this is from belief and I also have some smaller sample size things from them that I got from Gen Beauty. And I like to take these with me traveling just because it's nice and small and easy to pack. And I also have some smaller travel size things of my favorite Mirad products. So these are really handy. But my favorite, again, is from the Age Reform line, which is this purple one. My second favorite is probably this orange line, which I haven't talked a lot about yet. And I also got some new Yes to Coconut things I'm going to be trying out as well. But I got a face mask 
and this is their cleanser which won't focus it's a cleanser and I think there was something else oh this is an eye balm so I'll let you guys know what I think of those the next drawer is more skincare and this one's kind of random but it's a lot of Neutrogena stuff. I have the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Moisturizers. This one is for extra dry skin which is one of my favorites. And then this one is just the gel formula, the water gel formula, which is really nice. Um, this is from Tatcha. I haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I have tried other Tatcha products and I really like their skincare. This one is the Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. And these are just a pack of makeup remover wipes. You're going to notice I have a lot of makeup remover wipes, which I always have on hand. And these are another package of makeup remover wipes from Pacifica. It's the coconut water one. It smells really good. Then these are just more Neutrogena skincare products, and I have a lot of them in here. So, yeah. The back, I have some newer products I haven't had a chance to try it. They're from Dermatologica, and I think it's just some moisturizers and some cleansers. And then in the next drawer, more skincare. I'm telling you guys, I have a lot of skincare. These are from Derma E. This is again another new brand of skincare that I'm trying out. This is a Perfect Pout Lip Mask, and I love lip masks because my lips get really, really dry in the winter time, so I love these. These two are from Etude House, and I got them when I was in Korea, but can you hear Batman eating? He's eating his food. <laughs> He's crunching on it. But this is the Collagen Moistful Cream, and I really like this cream. Again, I like collagen in my skincare products because I think it makes a really big difference in the way it looks and feels. So I love these. And this is a Neutrogena face scrub, I believe. I have some Origin products in here as well. These are my backups, but it's the Nitamins and the Ginseng one. And then these are from a gift set that I tried. And I honestly did not love these, so I just kind of keep them in here. These are the Garnier Skin Active Moisturizers. I have three of them, but this one is different. This is the Miracle Anti-Fatigue one and has Wild Berry in it. And back here I have, oh my gosh, it's all like shoved back here, but it's um, proactive stuff. I don't use proactive that much because I just don't have very acne prone skin, so I just keep those back there. And then in this drawer I have even more skincare products. I'm sure you guys are like, what the hell? And this is just another random drawer of all different kinds of skincare products. This is a set that I picked up from Sephora with my like Beauty Insider points or whatever. And it's from Bosha and I haven't had a chance to try it out yet, but I will let you guys know what I think once I do. This is a set from Dr. Lin Skincare and I actually really like this stuff because it's great for sensitive skin. So if you have any like acne problems and you also have sensitive skin. This stuff is great. This is one of my newest moisturizers I'm waiting to try. I'm actually probably going to start using it tonight because I'm running out of my other moisturizer. It's from Kors. It's the Wild Rose Brightening 24 Hour Moisturizer and it smells really nice. I also have a lot of the new Pixi skincare products that they just came out with. This is their Glow Tonic. I also have their Rose Oil Blend, some eye stuff, and moisturizers, a hydrating milky serum, um, these are the glow peel pads. It comes in a nice little container. And this is a random skincare set that I got from a Beautycon swag bag. These are the Pixie uh, moisturizing towelettes. And under that, I have some sunscreen. I have my spray-on ones and some from Soul Sense because I really like the way these smell. This one is for the face. And I also have a bunch of my Neutrogena makeup cleansing towelettes. These are the Etude House collagen moistful like moisturizers in travel sizes so I can take with me. This is another sunscreen. This next one holds all of my sheet masks, which I love. I'm obsessed with these. And a lot of these are actually from my trip to Korea. I just stocked up on them because they're everywhere and they're really affordable. But I also got some from Asian Beauty subscription services. Like this one is from Boutique. And I also have some from Mini Box, which I will link down below. This one is a hair mask from Tony Moly. And these are like goggles. They're an eye mask, also from Tony Moly. But I really like those subscription services because a lot of this stuff is from 
come there and you get to try out a ton of different things that you wouldn't find in your like normal stores. This is a lip mask that I got from Boutique. And a lot of these masks have some like interesting ingredients in it. Like this one is a donkey milk one. There are some like snail ones in here. And this is my lipstick drawer where I have a lot of my lip products. And it's not perfectly organized in the back here. It's just a bunch of random ones sitting in a box. And I still have to go through these, but I have a bunch of NYX. These are the butter glosses, which I love. And I also have the soft matte lip creams. And these are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Glosses. And then right here I have a lipstick tray from Home Goods, And they're holding some of my lipsticks. And I like to put them upside down so that I can see the colors. The gold ones are from Milani. And these ones in the front are from Maybelline. And I love these Color Sensation lipsticks. And the quality is really nice for a drugstore lipstick. And then these are the LA Girl Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And these are super long wearing. So I have some of those. These three are from Urban Decay. And then right up front here I have some that I have not yet tried. These are from Laura Geller and they're really, really pretty. I think I'll do a swatch video for those. But there's just some in here that I haven't had a chance to open up and use yet. But I still need to work on organizing this drawer a little bit. Under that I have this drawer full of random hair products. I usually keep hair products in the bathroom, but these are just some other ones I recently got from Gen Beauty. But I just needed to stick them somewhere. But I have a ton of Eva NYC hair products and I really like their stuff because they smell really good. And I also love this dry shampoo. This is another dry shampoo from Marc Anthony. And then this is from Way, I believe it's pronounced, but this is a new hair care line from the Kardashians hairstylist. So I'm really interested in trying that out. This is an argon oil from Marc Anthony. Some more products from Eva NYC. I really like the dry conditioner spray as well. Then I have a box of Moroccan oil products. I really like their hair masks. These are just some things from e Salon. Let's see what else I have. I have some Red Ken shampoo in here. And then the last drawer in here are just some of my eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. These are a bunch of the Coastal Scents Hot Pots. I really, really like these eyeshadows. You can customize your palette. And I have a bunch of these little single hot pots that you can put into your own palette. Then I have a Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette, another eyeshadow palette from them. I have my Vice palettes in here. I have an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And then some of the ones back here are just ones that I'm not really using very much right now, so I stuck them back there. But I have some Urban Decay. K eyeshadows and on the other side are my other set of Alex drawers and this first one is just random stuff like makeup bags and there's like a flashlight and some chapstick or whatever so I'm not gonna go through that the second drawer are a bunch of eyeliners and mascaras I have a ton of mascaras that I have not tried yet a lot of these are new so they're just all in here I think I have some like concealers in here as well but I'll probably never run out of mascaras and I have some doubles in here as well. I have a couple of the Too Faced Better Than Sex ones in here. This is a brow pencil from It Cosmetics. I really like their brow products. So I have a couple of different shades in here. These are their new super skinny brow pencils which I've talked about before. And the next drawer are a bunch of products from Tarte and from Pure. Some drawers are categorized by brand, like this one, and then the, these are just some backup beauty blenders that I have. But these are a bunch of different Tarte products that I have. This is another one of their Amazonian clay foundations, which I really like. These are some more lip products and one of their blushes. I really like their blushes. And then this is the Amazonian clay foundation in like a loose powder form. And this I think I got from Gen Beauty, but it's faux lash fibers. I don't really even know for sure. I also have one of their makeup brushes that I got from like a holiday purchase. It's a huge brush. Um, but in the back, I have some Pure products. This is one of their new highlighters that I got from Gem Beauty. It's gorgeous, so I gotta start using that more. And these are their eye polishes, which I will show you guys one in a little bit, but I have all of the colors. And then these are their contouring foundation sticks, which I have a few different shades in. 
And then under that I have a drawer full of my falsies. And I love this drawer because it's the most organized drawer that I do have. I love how it all just lines up really well. These are all from Adele. And then right in front are all of my mink lashes. These are all from Superficial by Sophia Tao. I love these. My favorite ones are Snob. I wear them all the time in my videos and you guys are always asking about them. So I will link it down below. And then I have some from Esquito as well. They have a couple different styles that I really like. These are all from Makeup Forever. I think these, I'm wearing um, these right now, but they're from Kiss, which I have back here. They also make some of my favorite drugstore um, falsies because they're really lightweight and they look very natural. And then there's just a couple of other random ones back here. And then this drawer has a bunch of makeup brushes and all of the ones in this pink pouch are from Luxie. And I absolutely love these. They're super soft and they were nice enough to gift these to us from Gen Beauty. So we have a bunch of these and they also gave us a couple of other sets back here too and I have some other brushes in here that are just like backup brushes and some brush rolls as well and then this is my Benefit Cosmetics drawer. I have a ton of stuff from them, so they get a huge drawer of their own. But I was invited by Benefit to go to their corporate office a couple years ago. And these were some gifts that they sent home with us, and they have still been spoiling us. So I have a ton of other stuff from them. I'm actually a huge fan of their skincare products, so I have some of their backups in here. Their powder foundation. Hula is literally one of my favorite bronzers. Rocketeur is a beautiful blush. But I could go on and on about Benefit Cosmetics because I love their packaging and their products are amazing. And I actually have a couple more things from Benefit under that because it just did not fit in one drawer. So I have a couple of makeup bags and travel makeup bags from Benefit. They are filled with products as well and then there's some more on the side. And these are actually my Tarte palettes that are just like really huge and clunky and I can't fit them anywhere else. So they're sitting in here for now. And this is a box of more Benefit products that they sent to us. They really, really spoil us. Um, but this is from the holidays and they sent us all these goodies. I did a vlog about them, but there's so much stuff in here. So I still need to fit all of this into one of these drawers, which is why I have it in this little box right here. And then this one has a bunch of my face products. So I have a ton of foundations from drugstore and high-end blushes and some face powders. These are like highlighters. These are my Becca foundations and a shimmering skin perfecter in the liquid form. This is a new cushion foundation from Physicians Formula. And then I have some of the new Hourglass strobing light powders, which are beautiful, so I love those. And the very last drawer in here has all of my nail polish. I do not like how this is organized because it just does not fit. As you can see, some of these are just like sitting on top of each other. And because I can't see the colors very well, some of these are turned upside down, but it doesn't really help. So I need to find another way to organize my nail polishes. But yeah, this is what it looks like as of right now. I have some nail files in here as well. And this is the color that I have on my nails currently. I got this from Target. It's from Defy and Inspire, and I think it's new, but the color is called Gauntlet. So it's kind of like a cool tone gray, which I actually really Really like but I will probably reorganize this drawer and on top of my desk I have my boxy girl clear acrylic makeup organizers and I was really picky about what I wanted on my desk because it needed to look nice displayed on top of my desk as well as keep my things nice and organized so I found these from boxy girl and they are made of a really durable scratch resistant lucite and I've owned the ones from like home goods and Target and those kind of get like really scratched up and cloudy looking and these won't do that and you can definitely tell the difference because this is a little clear organizer from Target and you can hear the difference in the material and they're just like really nice and durable and I also really like these because they come with four stackable pull-out drawers and you can kind of change it up and stack them however you want but this is how it comes with the four drawers and they do have two different styles this one is the one without a lid that you're seeing here the other one has a lid which I will show you guys in a little bit and you can also purchase these little pull-out drawers individually as well but I have a coupon code down below or I'll put it on 
on the screen somewhere so you can save some money on the one without a lid if you're interested. But I'm going to show you guys what I have on these. I do like the ones without a lid because that way you can kind of stack things on top like I do here. So right here I have all of my MAC lipsticks. Some of them are in a little lipstick tray from Home Goods, and it doesn't fit all of them, so I need a new one. And this thing, like I said, is from Target, and it's just holding up some of my eyeshadow palettes. And these are the palettes I use most often on a daily basis, so I just want to be able to get to them really easily. This is my Tartlet in Bloom palette. I have my Kat Von D Shade and Light eyeshadow palette some of my chocolate bar palettes from Too Faced, and all of my Morphe palettes are up here as well. They're just really big, so I have them standing up like this. And in the first drawer, I have all of my foundations that I'm loving at the moment. These are the ones I like to interchange, and I have my Lancome, Makeup Forever Ultra HD, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, my Tarte Amazonian Clayful Coverage, and these are the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundations, which I love. And then this is another favorite drugstore foundation from Neutrogena and in the back I just have a sharpener an eyelash curler which I never use and my L'Oreal True Match Lumi cushion foundation and a Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Soleil under that I have some eyeshadows. All of these in the white packaging are from ColourPop. They are their Super Shock eyeshadows, which are amazing. I absolutely love these. The colors and pigmentations are so beautiful and they're so affordable. But you guys know I am a huge ColourPop fan. I wanna get more of their eyeshadows. These are a few of their highlighters. And then this is from Pure, it's an eye polish. I feel like I wanna do a separate video on this because I love these and I don't hear much about them. It's a really interesting interesting consistency. It's kind of like liquidy, like cream, and then it dries to a really gorgeous, like sparkly powder eyeshadow. So I'll show you guys in a different video. And then in the back here, I just have a couple of other eyeshadow palettes, and these are from Anastasia. These two are my favorite from her, and then this is the Lorac Mega Pro Palette 2. And then under that, I have a bunch of face powders. These are either like setting powders, translucent powders, and also some powder foundations in the back here and from MAC as well. But I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder, the Laura Mercier, of course. This is just a big fluffy kabuki brush from Makeup Forever to go along with their um, HD powder. And I really like the NYX Color Correcting Powders in Banana, so I have a couple of those. These are the new Hourglass Strobe Powders, which I really like. And I wanted one with a lid on it because I wanted to stack things on top of it. So on top, I have all of my makeup brushes that I use on a daily basis. These are all due for a cleaning, so don't judge me. <laughs> and then I have my little beauty blender. Oh, and some loose eyelashes. I just ripped these off because they were bothering me. But in the top drawer here, I have all of my eye pencils, like eyeliners, mascaras, and brow products. And I also wanted to mention that these drawers come with little dividers. You get a whole pack of them, and you can divide them however you like. So I don't have dividers in all of them, but this one I have one to separate my eyeliners, which are in this little compartment. So in here I have a bunch of different Lancome eyeliners, and then I have have my eyelash glue for my falsies and then next to it are my mascaras that I like to use I like to just kind of interchange between these this one is my newest one that I'm trying and I actually really like it the brush on it is really unique so it's great for bottom lashes but I'll show you guys that in a different video and then these are all of my brow pencils most of them are from NYX I really like the micro brow pencils and I have them in like a ton of different shades and I also have the It Cosmetics one, which is really similar. I just picked up this Anastasia Brow Pomade. It's my first time using it. I've always been kind of afraid of it. I don't really know why. It's just one of those products that's a little bit difficult to get used to. But I have it in the shade Medium Brown, and I really like it so far. And this is the brush that goes with it. And then the drawer underneath it are all of my concealers, primers, and things of that nature. I have all of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD concealers. I really like these. And then I have my Urban, or, or, yeah, my Urban Decay Naked Skin concealers. I have one from Lorac and some NYX color correcting concealers, one from Benefit. And my Benefit Primer, the Professional, which is my favorite. And the newest one is back here too. I have a couple of other primers back here. And these are all of the Makeup Forever primers that I have as well. 
oopsies. Oh, and this is from It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer. Under that is all of my blushes. I do have this divided because behind it are my highlighters, and some of them are blushes, but the front ones are all MAC because I just like how they look all organized like this. And then the ones in the back, like I said, it's a mixture of like highlighters. I have one from Ofra. This one is one of my favorites. Some from MAC. Um, this is a blush from Benefit. It's called Dallas, which I love. This one is from The Balm. It's the Mary Luminizer. And this is from Physician's Formula. The last drawer on this one is just a bunch of face palettes. This one shouldn't be in here, but it's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. I also have her contour palette in here. And these are the Hourglass powders and the Anastasia Contour Palette. So a bunch of like face palettes and also a couple more highlighters. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors back here in Opal and Champagne Pop. And this one is my NARS Steven Klein one. And then on top of these Alex drawers, I have another set and this one has no lid and it has all of my perfume sitting on top of it. My current favorite one is this one. It's called Park Avenue. It smells absolutely amazing. I love it. You guys have to go and smell that. And then in this drawer, I have all of my makeup setting sprays and I also have a brush cleaner in here as well. This one is a little travel size Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. This one is from Makeup Forever. This is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, my MAC Fix Plus, and then my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I love. And this one is all of my current lippies that I'm using or that I need to try out. These are all of the new Jouer Liquid Lipsticks. They are beautiful. I love of the formula and they kind of smell like vanilla cupcake but it's a very creamy kind of texture and it dries to a matte finish I'm missing one of them though these are the newest liquid lipsticks from dose of colors that I picked up some of my YSL lipsticks this is a Tatcha lip balm it's very fancy I haven't even used it yet but there's a gold leaf in it and in the back here, I have all of the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And they actually sent these to me recently, which was really nice. And I have one of the new Too Faced Melted Chocolate um, Lip Things. And I have a couple of NYX lip liners. These are my favorite, and it's in Natural and Nude. And then these are all from ColourPop. It's their lippy sticks, and I have a couple of their lip liners as well. And then finally, at the very bottom are all of the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundations. And they actually sent the whole range for me because I recently did a quick post for them. And I just have them organized in here because I'm not sure where else to put them. And then in the back right here, I have my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundations, which I also love. And this is the new Dream Blender that goes with the foundation. And then on top of my desk, I have a little mirror right here. That way I can see my makeup up close. And then this is my little snowball microphone that I use for doing voiceovers and I just keep it on my desk because sometimes I do edit at my desk. This is a little decorative like crystal rock and I just keep it right here because I like the way it looks. Next to that I have one of my favorite candles. I got it from Anthropology over the holidays and it's in Prosecco Rose and it smells really really good. I haven't even burned it yet but I just like the way it looks on my desk. These two containers I just got from Hobby Lobby. This one right now is holding all of my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips, and I just got two new ones from the Karuchi Tran and ColourPop collaboration, and I love these two colors right now. And then this one is actually just holding some heart lights that I got from Target. They were a part of like the dollar section, and they do light up. Let me turn them on for you. That's what they look like lit up, and I just have them in this little jar because I thought it looked pretty, but I'm just going to turn them off right now. And then I just have my coffee cup right here because I was drinking coffee earlier. And this desk does have a drawer, but I'm not going to show you guys today because it's just a mess and it holds all of my like planners and like random things, so it's really messy. So that is basically everything that I have in my little makeup organizing drawers and on my vanity. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link all of the information down below and you guys can find out where to get these things if you're interested. Otherwise, I will see you in my next one. Bye!